to show you how to make a really simple, easy, delicious, and gourmet meal. It is lamb and rice stuffed zucchini. Using just these few ingredients, I have four large zucchini. Um, if you have smaller ones, you might want about five or six of them. A pound of ground lamb, some organic jasmine rice, olive oil, dried parsley, stewed tomatoes, salt, pepper, roasted garlic and herb, some allspice, a red onion, and two cloves of garlic. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you in a second how to cut the zucchini open down the center and you're gonna scoop out the filling so that we can stuff them with this goodness. Really easy, really healthy, really delicious. We're gonna get started. Okay, so for the zucchini, we're gonna go ahead and cut off both ends first. And then you're gonna cut it right down the center. Then you're gonna take a small spoon and you are going to carefully and gently scoop out the flesh, okay? You need to make a nice hole for our filling. You don't wanna to go too deep because your zucchini will break. So just gently and carefully spoon out a nice, get out as much as you can without breaking it so that you have a nice pocket to stuff the filling that's it so we're going to go ahead and do that to the rest of the zucchini and then line them in a baking pan Okay, so I've got a baking pan lined with the zucchini and remember to really be careful when you scoop out the flesh because if you go at it too intense the zucchini is going to break. You want to brace your hand behind it and really be careful. So I have cooked the rice ahead of time and we're going to use two and a half cups of the cooked jasmine rice. It's actually still a little steamy. the diced red onion that's all going in. To that we add our package of ground lamb. Uh, you may want to get your oven preheated now to 375 degrees. And these are going to bake for about one hour. The meat's going in raw, so they definitely need to bake for at least 45 minutes to an hour. And if you're not a fan of lamb, you can use any ground meat. Beef or turkey works fine. I love them with lamb. All right, to this we are going to add our spices now. A teaspoon of the dried parsley, half a teaspoon of allspice, and allspice is gonna give it that really good, authentic, kind of Middle Eastern flavor. Two teaspoons of good sea salt roasted garlic and herb, two teaspoons. Some fresh black pepper. It's looking and smelling really good inside that bowl. Now the stewed tomatoes we're gonna blend and they're gonna go on top of the zucchini at the very end. So those we're gonna wait on and then we're gonna crush our garlic in. Let me get this all mixed up and then we'll be back. Okay, we've got the filling all mixed up. I've got my sweet daughter helping me film here. Brielle, if you could just kind of zoom in on that filling and show everybody how it looks. Yeah, yummy. Okay, I did actually have to get my hands in there. It, when it's raw meat and rice, it just, everything sticks together better that way. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab one of our zucchini. And you can either use your spoon or a, a spoon or your hands and you just wanna stuff these babies as full as you can, because it looks like I have a really good amount of filling here. If it turns out I have excess filling, then I can search for something else in the fridge to stuff it into, like um, a pepper, which I may have to do. We'll see how this goes. So that's it, you basically just, 
pack it in to your zucchini. Okay, just like that. All right, yummy. Okay, I'm gonna stuff the rest and then we'll top them up and get them popped in the oven. Okay, I've got the zucchini all stuffed and I did have excess filling, so I had this colorful orange pepper in the fridge that I was able to stuff. Uh, so, I had four large zucchini to start with, so I'd say for all that filling, if you're gonna do solely zucchini, do five large zucchini and you should be good. Or you can mix, you know, zucchini and peppers, whatever you like. So. I've got the blended stewed tomatoes that we're gonna just drizzle that sauce over the top nice. Okay, and if you like, if you think you're gonna like them saucy, you can open up another can. And so next we're gonna drizzle some olive oil over the top. Okay, about two tablespoons worth over the top of the zucchini. A little bit on the peppers. And then we'll finish it off with some fresh, I'm sorry, some dried parsley. If you have fresh, you use it. Because the fresh herbs, like I always say, make everything better. So this is gonna get covered with foil. We'll check it out when it's done. Okay guys, they're done, they're plated, they look delicious. I think you're gonna definitely impress some people if you make this meal. And remember, I'm here to provide easy, healthy, reliable recipes with everyday ordinary ingredients, nothing too complicated, nothing too off the wall. And these are tried and true, okay? I have seven kids and we all love these recipes that I'm sharing. So I'm just gonna Take a bite here for the moment of truth. Make sure that everything is as expected. Still a little steamy. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. mm. Wow. The flavor of that lamb is so amazing. Give them a try like and subscribe so many recipes to come guys have a fabulous day